on a, on a systemic level, um, and uh, if other states are thinking about contemplating, you know, engaging in this work, and we know it's not just to like, okay, we're done with it now, but what it took us, I think, about a year, maybe a little longer than a year, to document all of your 618 um, Part B data processes. But would you have any um, words of wisdom or suggestions to states that might be thinking about undertaking this work? Yes, I was thinking about that uh, earlier, and um, you know, in addition to getting buy-in, before you even start, and from the top down, you know, from leadership all the way down uh, to the program specialist level, so that everybody understands the purpose of the meaning of the work is first and foremost important, and we did that. However, like you said, it took a period over nine months of, of doing this, and so if, if at all possible, I would suggest if I had to go back and redo it, that if we could just set aside a couple of days, you know, outside of our building, um, so people aren't distracted from their from their day-to-day -day work. Um, I think that it probably could be accomplished in a lot uh, less time, you know, frame. Um, and then you could be able to, once you get that draft done with a facilitator a couple of days, then you can refine it, you know, in a process maybe over the next few weeks if there were some things that you were unsure of. And that way it would be done a lot quicker. Oh, that's good. And because I, I know, like, what, when we were working, we would do that. We would d develop it. Um, we'd start with a draft, we'd refine as we were all grouped together, and then we did a lot of back and forth through emails like, okay, do we have this? This is highlighted. Um, we need this piece of information, that kind of thing. And I think one thing that was really, really helpful is to have someone who wasn't present at our roundtable. Um, I think there was someone from IDC actually that would at look over what we did. Yes. So with fresh eyes, if um, she's not a member, you know, she doesn't know anything about Florida's data collection system, but she was able to look at it and go, hmm, what about this, and ask questions that we didn't think about. And so I think that was really helpful. Well, I really appreciate your all's time and sure. efforts, and um, I know that your all's data processes and, and submissions are a lot better now because I think of the work that you've done. And, you know, too, um, they understand the value of our work, and so now we're able to get them to run preliminary reports uh, so that we can review our LEA data before uh, it's finalized so that we have time to contact districts and ask them to take a look. Hey, can you take a look at this or that? Um, and, it, and before, um, it was like pulling teeth to get them to, to do anything preliminary like that for us um, because we don't have access to, you know, to the actual database. We only have access to what we're given to work with. So um, I think that it was just, I just can't explain. You couldn't even try to explain it to someone. They had to actually go through the process to get that level of understanding of what we do and how important our work is. So. Thank you all very much. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it.